Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Normies. Actually, I am Serge, and this is Corey. Honorary Normie for the quarantine. Today is Bring Your Girlfriend to Work Day, and we are doing some quarantine reactions from the house. This, obviously, as you may have guessed from the title, is a reaction to Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness. What does it mean? <laughs> This is all anyone's been talking about. I heard it's pretty ratchet. Yeah. Pretty redneck. Redneck ratchet. Ratchneck. <laughs> and Nahid has been talking about it nonstop. He's like, yeah, hey, man, this dude has these cats and these cats. And I kept thinking like, okay, he, this is like a cat guy. Like the Don't Fuck With Cats documentary. But no, no, this is something completely different. But we don't know. We're going to find out. No, we don't know. We did see that Don't Fuck With Cats documentary, though. Netflix does a really solid job with all their docu-series, I feel like, so. We'll see how this goes. It's number one in the U.S. today. Let's learn so about this. Do you want to tell the audience anything about yourself, my love? My dear. <laughs> uh, hope you guys are staying safe. Nothing about me in particular. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, guys, uh, she's pretty nervous. She hasn't done one of these before, so cut her some slack. We're just going to watch this. And As if we're happens. just hanging out together, all right? I'm excited that you're here. I'm excited you're, you're being part of these reactions, maybe, at least just this series, at least. Maybe our own cats will make an appearance. Yeah, yeah our own cats shall make an appearance. They're, they're going to. We just have to do the call, the cat call. Before we start, this is not a market substitute for The Tiger King on Netflix. Please support the official release by watching it on Netflix. You Woo, can also Netflix. support us on Patreon if you'd like to jump ahead a few episodes or watch the uncuts of these. See, see all the crazy shenanigans we get up to. And doing that helps us, you know, run the channel, helps us do our creative endeavors, video game, channel, podcast, cooking show, video essays, all the creative endeavors we love to do in this channel are possible because of the patrons. And you, like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. We're going to dive right in. I have no idea what the fuck this is about. Seven episodes. Episode one, it is called, is it called anything? Not Your Average yeah. Joe. All right. Oh, I get it, because I, I know the guy's name. We're starting now. Yeah, turn it up. Here we go. Turn it up. Surround sound. Oh, no. I plug out the surround sound. I know. It's broken. <laughs> the cats ate the cord. They did. Where do you want to start? I guess at the beginning somewhere. The crazy beginning. What would you do if you <laughs> saw a guy on the highway? And I might be one That's of pretty the, cool, actually. I don't know. But... They're all half out there, man. They're crazy. You know, the monkey people are a little bit different. Okay, good boy. I always wanted a monkey when I was a kid. You know, kind of My best friend growing up had a monkey. A decade-long feud comes to a bizarre end. Tiger King stands accused of trying to have a woman killed. You know, there's not every day that a zookeeper went to prison for murder for hire. Well, so that's what happened. There's already studded handcuffs. Okay. <laughs> This is gonna be great. <laughs> Look at this dude. Yeah, eyeliner on. Goofy goober. And you would not believe how many sheriffs told me, oh yeah, just down the street, there's a guy <laughs> that has a lion or a guy down there that has a tiger. They just feel very strongly that these are mine and nobody's oh, gonna take them from me. When I leave this park, I wear a bulletproof vest. That is how bad this has gone. There is so many strange twists to that Jesus. story. You would have to write books, volumes of the stuff that went along there. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I don't, I don't. I don't get it. Driving with a tiger in your car. It seems like he's been doing this for years, because that footage looks really old. Like some of that footage of him looks like it's from the 70s or 80s. How does one get into, like, being the Tiger King? You have to look like Dog the Bounty Hunter, or. He's worth wrestling. He looks like Diamond Dallas Page. It all began when I was investigating a notorious reptile dealer in South Florida. It was 100 degrees outside. Do they need to be refrigerated? What? I mean, you know, because they, if they're acclimated in Florida, you know, if they're born and raised here. What is a snow leopard doing in the back of this guy's hot van? This is terrible. This is going to make me so sad about captive story. animals. Really Apparently, I, th I heard he takes good care of them. Ish, maybe. I don't know. You know, there is a cat park kind of close-ish to here. Okay, so he had it like open to the public. Yeah, it's not like it's like a. I guess it's kind of like a private, a private zoo. zoo yeah. Your whole audience will those say, Oh my God, that guy has a mullet. No, I like it. I, like he, it. I mean, he does have mullet. 
You do have a mullet, bro. You Your can mom. tell with the hat on. He was pretty much the star of his own show. All these people have missing limbs. So what does that tell you? <laughs> like, what happened? Meeting him in person definitely solidified that. Oh my god, I didn't even notice yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, like. Oh, he's a country music artist. <laughs> of course he is. For Joe, the zoo was his stage. It was the one place he could shine. He could control every aspect of it. From the start of the day to the end of the day, he filmed everything. How did this guy get this much money to do this? Where do you get the money for all these cats? I don't know. I don't hire all these people and like run this whole operation. Well, I mean, he's a zoo, so you... Yeah, oh, there you go. Oof. Well, here you go. Here he is. Is he a YouTuber? He is. Look at him. Oh, my God. Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> he's doing exactly what we did. We are. When I walked in, I had all this experience. I had national reputation. If you watch us often, wow. you know one of our reporters, Rick Kirkham, is nuts. With a mere touch of the flame, it was instant Kirkham cabal. <laughs> hey, Mike, get the charcoal. <laughs> you know, I, I've met a lot of shit in my life, but I've never experienced anything like Joe Exotic. That was him? No, no, no. It was the guy he brought on the show. Okay. Ooh, we get to meet her. Ooh. She's a hippy dippy. Hippie goddess vibes. Can we get vibes. down so you got this cat? Oh, yeah, that's great. Aw, that's sad. Look how small that cage is! It's a really small one. I really believe in life that you can only be good at one thing. Oh, okay, thing. okay. That's just for his Gotcha, I gotcha. I was about to say, aren't you supposed to be the good the one? Cats. It's one thing that I can fix if I can just stay focused on that. Okay, Look at the little, print in her house. A little, a little cuckoo. It's a little... See how they go from being so sweet to just wanting to tear your face off and they can do it like that. And it's like, oh, that's amazing to have that kind of <laughs> and that speed. <laughs> We're circus She's animals. so happy talking about getting her face ripped off. <laughs> People like Joe Exotic. What they are doing is breeding cats for life in cages. A tiger needs 400 square miles of territory in the wild. Yeah. So there's no cage that's going to be sufficient. But the reason that we have cats in cages is to provide them a safe place to live until they die. Shalimar? I think it would be fair to say that Carol is the Mother Teresa of cats. Where do you, the very first I guess, that my parents like establish these the cradle, it was me and sanctuaries, the or how do you get into it? There's a war in America that's being fought for an enormous amount of money. The animal rights activists, they want the lion's share. Uh, and they clever. don't want to share their lions. They're not even in the same state? No, oh, okay. I thought, I thought he was in Florida. Antle is much more sophisticated, much smarter. He's fearless. Dude. Oh my gosh. Look. He was biting his... Was he? Yeah, he had his, his teeth on that tiger's mouth. This is Swami Satchitananda, my grandfather, oh, Guru, who uh, a guy I lived with since I was a teenager. Oh, wow. All right. So For I'm real? Dr. Bhagavan Antle. B H A G A. Is he Indian? Antle. A N T L E. Dr. Bhagavan. How? Because his grandfather was a swami. Maybe he's just really mixed. I don't know. I feel I've been to the Myrtle Beach Safari. <laughs> I have been building this incredible preserve for people to have an interactive, up close, uncaged experience with wildlife. Now these so, teeth also make it so that he can take down larger prey than you'd expect. And he keeps coming out here as a wee bit of a. Don't you think they're drugs? Uh, yeah. That's I don't know. That's weird. They have those like tiger places in Thailand and whatnot, and they mm -hmm. they always say like, "Oh, we don't drug the tigers," but when you're there, like they totally are drugs. Like they're very lethargic, and they're not. They're just like, like passed out active. in yeah. all the photos and stuff. Yeah. who are against people kind of having relationships with animals, period, want to destroy me because I am out there in the forefront, so known of being this guy that is in love with big cats and has them love him back. Okay, I mean, there's a, there's a line here, so I hope you're not crossing Look the line. Look how big that is. <laughs> the milk bottle's like These the size of These are definitely American pot. tigers. <laughs> <laughs> are they normally not that big? I feel like, like they're not Africa that big. Or? I don't feel like they're that big. The animal rights people like to bitch at you. The cub petting is, is abuse. So you shed a baby tiger in, in a family's lap and they fall in love with this baby tiger and you have 15 minutes of their undivided attention 
just say, look, we gotta save the rainforest because you're killing this little baby tiger, you know, where he came from. Aww. Okay, I see, I, I can see that as being a reason to have people like visit. But them. what is the difference between him and Carol? Makes a connection between them and the wild. That he's making a connection between people and the, and the wild. For us to do our worldwide conservation work. What is the zoom? <laughs> Why do you guys zoom in like that? Three thirty-nine is the start price, right? There's people that paid six twenty-five, six fifty-five for their tours. What? I mean, they are exotic animals, though. They'd be like holding tigers and shit. That's an entire trip. People are paying that much. I bet you know, out of the U.S. Second it's probably week, cheaper. Shut the front door. We feed super quality food that anyone would be glad to eat themselves. It's a minimum it of ten like thousand dollars a year to feed each tiger. They take good Dang. care of them, you know. I can feed a tiger for three thousand dollars a year. Three thousand? You've got how many tigers? Mm. I have 227. Uh, 227! So I guess that was an example of a good sanctuary or a well run, well oiled sanctuary. No. And this is like. I think they're showing the contrast because they're showing that guy saying 10,000, this guy's saying 3,000. Yeah, so where's yeah, that yeah. profit? It's are you. Are you saying their premium is way too high? The well, no, the people? one guy was saying it was 10K. This guy's saying 3K. 3K. So is that guy just saying 10K because he wants the extra money? Maybe. Or he has, he's charging that much? Or he is he really paying the... Is he really, you know, paying that much to feed these tigers? It's either that or Joe Exotic is skimping on the care of these cats. Right? So is the one guy lying and profiting? Or is this 227 tigers? That is a lot of food. Oh, uh, they like dug it in the ground. That's clever. No, they just threw it. They didn't dug it in the ground. It looked like one of them just took it from They're out of the dirt. They're fighting over it, it looks like. Oof. Ooh, that slab of meat. Oof. Mystical magic of the endangered show. It's coming to the Valley View Mall. What? That's when he decided to change his name to Joe Exotic. Today, we have a Siberian tiger, an Indo-Chinese tiger, a two-toed sloth. Yeah, they're just like past the fuck they're out. They're just like knocked out, so... Take your picture with this little baby cub. Look at me! Awesome! I mean, never saw <gasps> Oh my god, I would big never! Big one. Would you let your kid near Sorry, something like that? I would never. We started a program where we would contact the malls and explain to them why this was bad. At one point, we used someone to follow Joe and report what mall they were going to next. They would research it, find the owners of the mall, and email them, text them, call them, send the media out wow. there, everything, just hammer them. And one by one, these malls started refusing to have him back. I don't know how to feel. Like, I don't know if I should root for him or not. Because he's so happy, <laughs> and he, he has is. a he has an endearing story. Tiger selfie is a big trend on a dating app. The tiger selfie is a growing trend on sites <laughs> like Tinder tender. and OK Cupid, apparently. Oh yeah, and this is how endangered species can save themselves by helping us get laid. <laughs> Wild animals have been brought on to the late night shows. How do you hold these Steve Irwin was like a national treasure. He didn't yeah. do the cats, but he did a lot of the other you know, yeah. exotic animals. But I guess he kind of went out into the wildlife most of the time. He did. He did a lot of education. Shack, Shacky, babe. Hey, Toby. I've got my big plant panther there, Shadow. Jay brought us out into the forefront of people. He got to meet people like no one else had ever done. I the would never cat coming on no. there. Baby tigers, cheetahs, left. When do you, yeah, out. how do you get the trust to do that? Even for Jay Leno, how would you agree to do that? Yeah. You are a good kitty. I wonder if they use them for the fucking first hangover movie. I mean, there's like a tiger and like oh, yeah. Yeah. international movies. From Ace Ventura, Ace Ventura, Jungle Book, Dr. Doolittle, Mighty Joe Young. I mean, it's a huge list of features that we made. People who pimp out tiger cubs can only use them from the time that they're a few weeks old until they're about 12 weeks old. And when they get to be that age, they can take a finger off. There are enough ignorant people out there who will then take in that tiger. And a year later, that cat's two or 300 pounds. And they're calling us and saying, please get this out of my house. Wow. At the same time. There's Who takes it home, for real, though? Mike Tyson? <laughs> Damn it, you're right. <laughs> the animals were unleashed on the town by a man who kept them in his backyard. That's sad. I believe that there are a number of ticking time bombs out there, and when those places implode and somebody does something crazy, that will probably push our legislation forward. 
48 of his animals were eventually killed, pushing Ohio lawmakers to author a new bill restricting private ownership of exotic animals. Dude, that's fucked up, man. What a fucked up image. I'm Joe Exotic, and this is Sarge. Sarge? The president of the Humane Society called this place, and I quote, a ticking time bomb. And potentially ten times worse than Zane's. I mean, show. what's going to happen to them when he dies? If somebody thinks they're going to walk in here and take my animals away. It's going to be a small Waco. <sighs> oh. Oh no. And I took that as a direct threat that if my office ever had to take some action out there, we were going to have a shootout. This is my own little town. I'm the the mayor, the prosecutor, the cop, and the. No, Sweet. you're not. You can't be saying that shit, bro. Carol Bashkin was supported by the help of PETA to the point that they've actually made me a target now. PETA is unapologetic in its mission to help animals. And we've hey, been PETA gets sexy. Wow. <laughs> for many, many years. Fucking the swimsuit edition. What do you carry that gun for? People? Not the cats. Not the cats. I'd shoot you before I shot my cat. Goodness. Wow. All right. Now it's getting unsettling. Carol wants to be the last man standing. There can be only one, and it has to be her. I see where he fits into it. If he even like knows Joe or has talked to Joe. They're well. They're very similar. They do magic with big cats. So. <laughs> oh boy, is actually feeding them premium meat. It costs him more money. Maybe he has a more secure operation. It seems like he has way too many tigers for the space he has. Yeah. They were both, you know, taking advantage of exotic They don't want to get a jacket like that. If I started dressing like that, would you would you be mad? Is this a Halloween costume? No, no, just on the regular. <laughs> With the little tassels hanging down. We got an undercover video of him using a 20-week-old cub that jumped on this little boy and bit him on the leg. She's ruthless. Oh, dang. Most of us are not ruthless. People who really love that animals are rarely society. ruthless. I wonder what that liability form covers. If you go in, you know, like anything can happen, you sign your fucking life away. They will destroy <laughs> private zoos across America. I mean, is that a terrible thing? For Carol and all of her friends that are watching out there, before you bring <laughs> me down, she will stop breathing. Dang! That's pretty ugly. We had Carol's birthday next month. Bro. And we're shipping her two of these. Come on. <laughs> Happy birthday, Carol. Why does it look fake? What did he? Did you get arrested for doing yeah, that? Yeah, I was like, can you get arrested or some sort of fine? Like intimidate? No, I mean intimidation of a witness, but I Like, is it a crime to send someone some snakes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We have to ask Dr. Google. Oh my God. They call her Carol? Dude, oh no. this is fucked up. Huh. It's nothing like the movies. It's just a little puff of smoke. An inmate at the Grady County Jail. Oh, four years later. What happened, oh, dog? I'm in a cage. How ironic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be accused and go to prison and lose everything I have for things that other people did. The four is over with, I'm going to shut down on everybody. He's even threatening from prison. I know. It's like, dude, what are you going to do? That's it. That's it. That's the first episode. Wow. So. Question. Would you ever get that close to a lion, like, or tiger? Anyway, like, if it was a spe special trained person right there with you. So it's I like, have. hey, it's safe. You can I you have. share. What? I have. Of course I you know, have. it's bad. Of course you have. It's bad. So, I mean, watching this, basically this documentary, I feel like, is a discussion on animal abuse, animal rights, animal activism. Where do you draw the line? But Probably also this super kooky guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, I mean, you know, like almost 10 years ago, I went on a big trip, and I did go to Thailand. Like, that's what I was saying with the tigers. I went to one of those sanctuaries, and they seemed kind of doped up. It was a little messed up. We all talked about it afterwards. Did I you felt hold bad one? Did you get it. close to it? Um, I didn't hold them or, like, really touch them. It was just, like, next to it. But now, as I'm older and more mature, I realize that it was not, not the best. Um... And so it's been interesting, I don't know, watching how different zoos do different things. 
Yeah, I don't think I would ever get that close. It's interesting how you can tame them to be, you know, kind of domesticated. Because even, like, someone like Jay Leno is rubbing his face up against a lion's mane. You have to be told beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's okay for you to do that and, like, it'll be safe. I mean, I think, honestly, people are naive. People don't th- or people don't think it can happen to them, right? Yeah. So if I tell you, oh, yeah, I've domesticated this cat, then you're going to trust that. But think about that woman. Who was that woman who had the chimpanzee? And monkeys are very dangerous, um, you know, just like big cats. But that woman had that chimpanzee and had it on, like, antidepressants and stuff. And then it attacked her friend and bit off her face and bit off her fingers. Oh, yeah, that? I heard about that. Yeah. Why the fuck was she giving a monkey antidepressants? I don't know. The monkey seemed depressed. I don't know. Oh, depressed monkey. I know. It's sad. Uh, but. This was like, so the other guy, the ba- Bagad- Bhagavad, what is his, what's his name? I want, kind of want to look it Baga- up. Bhaganav? Bhaganav? Anyway. B H A G. There was definitely yeah, some Baganav. Indian background to him. I wish they would have dived deeper into that. Maybe they will later on. Of course but you say that. He, uh, <laughs> he, he was with like a swami. He seems like... He grew up with him. He seems like a similar type deal. He has a tiger sanctuary, but his is more professionally run, is what I'm guessing. Well, I think he has a lot... He looks more put together, and so he has a lot more connections. Like, he was talking about everything they've done in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. But then you look at our boy Joe... He's doing it for him and himself, essentially. Yeah, maybe he doesn't look as professional. Yeah. I'm not saying it's like he's malevolent or anything, but... He's, he he seems to love the tigers like he has emotional connection to them and I don't know it, it seems see, like it's because it stemmed from such a kind of a, a trauma you mm-hmm. know what I mean with what happened to him in the past maybe he feels yeah. like overly protective of about it so that's he's like I got fucking guns it's gonna be another Waco yeah but I you you think about all the stories that you hear about like this this woman was found in her trailer with 112 like puppies and you know i mean it's just hoarding animals that's what he is he's hoarding animals and he's hoarding them for a profit that's why they're saying that their utility in his eyes the financial gain is mostly from you know that how many weeks was that from like when four they're weeks? cubs yeah four weeks to yeah. 12 weeks yeah and then like by four the weeks time to 12 weeks because a... 16 weeks is when it bit that kid's leg so yeah like they can bite a finger so that's only eight weeks that they have profitability. So then what's happening to them afterwards? I mean, he's being humane and that he's giving them a home, but how much space, like you were saying, are they really getting? Like 220, 227, 224? 227. Sorry, I'm just looking up the Waco incident and what exactly happened. I'm trying to refresh my memory. Educate us, Serge. Uh, let's see. Mm. Carried out by the American Federal and Texas State Law Enforcement, mm-hmm. U.S. Military... It was like a showdown, right? Yeah. Uh, ATF attempted to raid a ranch. An intense gun battle erupted. Basically, it was like a small little war that happened because they were serving these people. In like a Basically, he was saying that he was going to have a standoff with the authorities or yeah. whoever tried to get on him. Oh, yeah. I would have taken that as a threat, too, if I was the, uh, the sheriff or whoever, that, the, the cop that was talking. I mean, that's a direct threat. I mean, yeah, you're allowed to protect your property, but, you know, when you say something like that, that's pretty intense. What do you think about what's her name? Carol. Carol. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really... They need to get a little bit more into the financials of it. I know the story is about the, the wackiness that unfolds mm-hmm. between the two of them. But I'm still, I don't quite understand the difference between the two. Like I said... Even Carol? From Carol. Well, yeah, but she had all those crowds there. She had people coming, and he and again, I need more information. But Joe was saying that she was doing tours and all this stuff, like kid tours, and just That's like people true. coming. And she was saying like you and, know, and hashtag the little, the, hashtag big cat rescue or whatever. Yeah, and the little head cage that we had commented about earlier, mm-hmm. he pointed out too. Yeah, and it might not be where they're staying, but it's like how they have to feed is like constricted. Whereas, like, with him, he, he, he gives it more, like, in the wild experience, I guess, where they kind of have to, like, run for it and kind like, of. tear her down. And, like, I mean, you saw that she had a big, like, a really large cage, but they didn't talk about how many cats that she has. Mm-hmm. They didn't talk about how large the land was. So those are questions that I have. And she as seems... well as like the money, like what what is the money going to? Is she getting a profit or is it a not profit cat rescue? Does yeah. that make sense? Like her head's in a good place too, but you can tell that she. Like, both of them love 
big cat so much in different ways you know what in i mean they ways. think they, they think they're doing right by the uh, by them and she like her whole house is decked out i would say even more so a little more overboard than joe exotics but joe is just like he's a little unhinged i feel like he's, he's been through some hardships some trauma and so yeah it feels like he's gonna protect his like at all costs you know it's his mean? lively i mean at this point it's his livelihood and yes, I think he does have a, a lot of love for the cats, but... Yeah. Well, let us know. Can you send snakes to somebody and it's not breaking <laughs> the law? Like, you can't get arrested or in trouble? Please, like, no one send... sending some snakes. I'm please like, don't send any snakes oh, to serve. Oh, God, don't even say it. Okay. Go ahead. If you, if you send it to the P.O. box, the, the postal service is going to, like, no. check it. No, they, they'll, they'll never get to us. He's been begging... Uh, to get a snake I, and I say I absolutely just, not I said they'll eat our cats we have two cats I just you know I'm watching Naruto and Orochimaru he's like a snake guy but like I just I want to like have a snake around me and just like feel it slither you just, just want to add to your fuckboy status what is, so, what is fuckboy about getting a snake? There's nothing you're fuck boy about you're it. Your pods in and your Burberry scarf. I mean, I will have my pods in a scarf. I'm gonna have at least one picture like that. And your that. Oakleys on, like. Oh yeah, yeah, at least one picture yeah. with, with, the, with the with the with the Oakleys and the pods and oh the snake. Oh my god. But it's it's just you know snakes are misunderstood creatures. I, I'm not gonna go all Joe Exotic about it and like rub my face against it. But you know. I mean, yeah. if you want it around your your neck, it's going to be right next to your face. So you're wrapping around you, giving you a okay. little death hug. All right, that's that's true, but yeah. it won't be poisonous. It'll be a ball python. Do your research, babe. I'm not Do your it. research, guys. I'm not doing it. Ball python is, is perfectly fine, even if you have two cats. My friend Kevin. Absolutely not. My friend Kevin has done it. He had a snake named Daenerys, and she passed away, sadly, unfortunately. But he also had two cats, and there was never an incident. This goes thing? back to captivity as we're talking about, you know, animals God being, I, I, yeah, I got you. But, but no, 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 <laughs> Kev, Kevin countered No! You, what, what, is, what is your claim? Your claim is my, No, my point is that you're just getting a snake to look cool and for the aesthetics of it. But then the snake is going and living in this tiny cage because this apartment's not very big. We don't have a big place. I, I mean. No. And then he what, says, and then he says that you only have to take it out once every or you only have to feed it like you it can go six months without being fed or something like yeah, that yeah so you can go on vacation but you don't what's the point? Care. you're just gonna lock it in the cage and well <clears throat> my, my dear friend there. kevin with the snake daenerys he said that snakes actually prefer a small like little section of an environment that they can hang out in they don't like to like go all around they like to like live in a cozy little little spot they call home and we, and I think maybe, they like to have some shelter, but... I agree with you that this place is too small for the terrarium size that no. I want, which would be, like, a little bit bigger than this TV, maybe. But, you know, oh I... Oh, my just, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is end of discussion. I'm going to say for the snakes. No captive snakes. Free the snakes. Just an ongoing discussion, folks. Well... I hope you guys enjoyed our first little view of this. There's there's six more episodes. I don't, I really don't see how there's six more of this. Like, how much crazier can it get? I wonder. It's gonna uh, be interesting. But we're gonna see. It's trending number one. I bet it's just we're in for a wild ride. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching, and a big shout out to Joe Mags, Luis, Mike, Mr. Big, Ruby, Sean, Jesse, Smitty, Dane, Allison, Tristan, Carson, Diet Dan, Edward, Kelly Parks, Keyboard Junkie, NYR Fan, and ZJP. Thanks guys, we'll see you next week.